Oh, welcome back, friends. You're here for some more math fun? Huh, that's funny. I have some bad news, guys. We got a visit from the number thief. He came to the math fun factory last night and stole all the numbers. <laughs> now we have no numbers to use for our math fun today. Oh no! Well, at least we still have our blocks. Ah, come here, little blocks. Oh no! The block thief <laughs> just stole all the blocks. <laughs> now, we really can't have any math fun. What's the matter, friend? Oh, hi, Anna. We can't have any math fun today. And our friends were really looking forward to it. Oh, my. Well, have you guys done adding from 0 to 10? Of course we have. Now we'll have to do 11 to 20. And we really, really, really need those numbers and blocks. And they were just stolen. Well, there's an easier way of doing this. Really? Of course. Watch me. Let's write, hmm, number 11. Put our plus sign, write number 5, and put our equal to sign. Okay. So this is 11 plus 5. Great, but this is too large for us. Yeah, way too large. Well, we can put it in block form. Ooh, block form. Um, what is that? Well, good you asked. First, you have to write down the first number you have in that equation. That's 11 plus 5. Friend, what's the first number? 11. Yeah, the first number is 11. Now, does 5 have one number or two numbers in it? It has one number in it. That's 5. Great. So we will put it under the last one. Fantastic, Mundo. All right. We forgot two key things. What are they? The plus and equal to signs. Yeah, so the plus sign goes in between the 11 and the 5, in the front, like this. But the equals to a sign changes a little bit. Instead of it to be this little dash and dash, it is now a long dash and another long dash reaching to the length of the number under it, like this. This is block form. Hmm. Thanks to you, Anna, we have another way of having math fun. I think I'll take it from here. All right, friends, let's have some math fun. Okay, first, we need to find the answer for the unit side. Huh? What's the unit side? That's the side to the right. And the tenth side is the side to the left. Okay. But why do we start from the right? That's easy. We start from the right because... Because... Because we may have to carry over to the next side. Huh? Carry over? That sounds hard. Not at all. Very soon, you and your friend over there will be able to do it. Um, thanks again, Anna. So, we will add one and five. But hey, the black bee stole our blocks. Yeah, so let's use some sticks that I found on the floor. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six sticks. So we'll write six in the space under the one and the five. Now we move to the tenth side. But wait, there is no number under that one. I see. Whenever we see that, there's an invisible zero hiding there. So one plus zero is, remember, 
Any number added with zero gives you the same number you used to add. So one plus zero is one. And so one and six equals 16. Therefore, using our block form, 11 plus five equals 16. Let's try one more by ourselves before we say goodbye. 15 plus five. We write our 15. Great. Then we write the five under the five on top and add our visible zeros in the 10 side. Don't forget to put the plus in the middle of the 15 and five and the long equals two sign under the numbers. Now we can start adding. Remember, start with the unit side. Five plus five is Hey, we don't have blocks, and we're out of sticks. Let's use some rocks this time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten rocks. So we write ten. Hey, but when we write ten, there will be no space for the ten side answer. Yeah, you're right. Um, Anna, we need your help. Hi again. What seems to be the matter? Okay, remember that carrying over thingy? How does it roll? Okay, what's the number again? The number that we are carrying over is 10. Oh, that has two numbers in it. 1 and 0, 10. So, what's the first number in 10? 1 is the first number in 10. Yeah, so we take that 1 and put it on top of the one in the 10 side. You can see it's little now and not big, making it 11. And what is left after we remove that one? Zero. That's right. So that's what we'll write under the fives. That's the first step. Now for the last step. We have one plus the invisible zero plus that one that was carried over. So, 1 plus 0 is 1, we all know that. Now we have to do 1 plus the 1 that was carried over. That's 2. So we write 2 under the 1 and invisible 0. Oh, I see. So 15 plus 5 equals 20. Thanks, Anna. What? 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 Even when I stole your filthy numbers? Yeah, yeah, and when I stole your dirty blocks? Oh, number thief and block thief, we have a method called block form that can help us. All we need to do is write the numbers. No! We will be back! Phew, I hope that's the last we'll see of those max thieves. It's time for us to go now. Bye, Anna. Bye-bye. See you in another math fun. Friends, today's math fun was so fun. I hope we see you again in another one. Bye.